Hi guys, how you doing? Thanks a lot for signing up. My name is Tony. I'm one of the co-owners here. I'm just going to give you a quick orientation on what to do once you sign up. Um, so you're going to be greeted with this initial splash page. What you want to do is scroll down midway. You're going to see here it says your website. You're going to enter the one you want to be monitored. So let's just add that. Okay. If you add the website, you're going to see it's going to take you to website monitoring page. And it's going to show you that you've been configured to do malware and blacklist, which is default, every four hours. If you click on the monitor overview, you're going to see that you're sitting right there. You can also click on the timeline, and you see that your information is here. Now, most people usually stop at this, but that's actually incorrect. What you want to do is you want to extend this to include the server-side scanning. The way this initial scan works is for remote scanning. Now, if you click enable server-side, this will enable the uh, scanning ability to be on the back end of the server. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. So ftp.johnhacksite.com. I'm going to say security at johnhacksite.com, my password. Okay, and then I'm going to drop it into the FTP directory. And there you go. Now you've enabled server side scanning. Now, one thing that I did not mention that you should know is, let's go back for a second. Let's see if I can't do that. Okay, it won't let me. Um, but you always want to make sure that the file that you're dropping is being dropped to the root of the site. So for instance, if this user, the security at johnhacksite.com, was set up to view all the sites on your domain, you would want to define the specific directory for the specific website. So if on my server it's public HTML, John Hack site, in my directory, I would place forward slash public HTML forward slash John Hack site. Okay, um, let's see if I can add another site to show you what I mean. So go back to manage sites, add a remove. I'm going to add, say, mset.me. I'm going to set that up for every six hours. I'm going to add a website. There it is. If I go to server side scanner, you'll see that MSET hasn't been enabled. This is the location that I'm telling you. So you're going to want to put here, whatever the host information is, you're going to put here public HTML forward slash MSET, if that's my configuration. If you don't know your configuration, you need to contact your host. But if you set up the user correctly, it'll be set up default to public HTML. And as such, you can simply put the forward slash. If you take the forward slash off, you might get an error. If you get an error, just simply put the forward slash and it'll enable it. The other thing is, if for whatever reason you can't do it FTP, you're having issues, that's not a problem. Simply go to enable manually. This is the actual file that's being dropped onto your server. So Kuri D5007, whatever the case may be. Okay, um, You can simply click on it, download it, and upload it manually. And let's see what I mean by that. So if I open up my FTP client, in this instance, I'm going to use Fauzilla, and let's go to my server. I'm going to go to ftp.johnhackedsite.com. My user was security at johnhackedsite.com, and my password was security. And there I am. I've been logged in. I'm in my root. And if you log in now, you're going to see that I actually have two, and that's because of demonstration purposes. But one of these files belongs to that site. Okay, and once it runs initially, you'll see um, which file that is. But these are very important files, and you don't want to remove them. Okay, um, I think that should be it, and I hope you guys have a good time. Bye.